In. My name is Morgan. I'm a yoga teacher. And it's Wednesday, so are we doing the glow up chakra alignment today? Is that what you guys want to do? Hi, Holly, you stayed. Hi, Autumn. Hi, Fatima. Hi, Carly. It's so nice to see you. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll go back and read through these comments some other time. You're still waiting for me in India, Fatima. What a delight. What a delight you are. Hola, Magic from Valencia. Joining you whilst eating dinner, great. We'll give some Reiki to that food that you're transforming into your, your digestive juices. Um, all right, so we're gonna get you into a comfortable seat. Osiris is excited for chakra alignment. Yes, yes, Osiris just found me on Instagram. It's so fun connecting with you guys there. Ooh, I wanted to show you this before we get into it. So I mentioned this on, um, I think, uh, Monday. So I was at this yoga retreat, uh, this yoga retreat, this yoga workshop, it felt like a retreat this weekend on the beach here in Los Angeles, where I am. And um, I had asked my Reiki master, Holly, who's here with us right now, um, to perform Reiki while I practice yoga. She's, she's a very powerful Reiki master and she very generously offers to work with me when I'm doing other healing practices to bump up the healing. And as I was walking along the beach, I looked down and this was sticking out of the sand. And it was right around the time she'd been working on my sacral chakra. This is carnelian. Another yoga person must, must have dropped it on their way to the yoga workshop that I was going to, but it was a gift for me. It had, it had rested itself loose from wherever it was hiding and it was just waiting for me in the sand as a gift from the universe. So I offer this to you as evidence that there is magic in this world, my friends, if you look for it. Um, so this is the color I'd like you to think of when we get to the sacral chakra. Is there any chakra that anyone knows they specifically want to work with? Or is this anyone's first time working with chakras? Do you know what it means? Have you heard this word before? Um, yeah, let's see. Hi, Fred. It is nice. It is nice to have you. Karen Solar Plexus, Manipura Chakra. Yeah, you know what's going on in there, Karen? Um, or if you have any sort of like physical or emotional issue that you're dealing with, I'll tell you which chakra is affected. Each chakra system is related to different emotions, related to different physiological issues. Um, Nothing. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you just like it. You just like it. That's cool. Lauren wants to work, we'll work on the heart, certainly. Yeah, solar plexus and third eye for Riley. Hi, Riley. Shauna. Shauna has root and crown. I said that so weird. Shauna has root and crown. <laughs> Overactive crown. So more grounding. More grounding for you, Shauna. Yeah, especially in these new moon times. Whew, things get riled up. Um, let's see, Pi is having digestive issues. Yeah, so that's gonna be uh, both probably solar plexus, sacral and root. You probably got the, the San Zhao, as we call it in traditional Chinese medicine, the, the trifecta <laughs> of blockages happening there. Jubide, you've got some throat stuff going on. We'll work on Vishuddhi Chakra. Hi, Julie in Massachusetts. Helen also having trouble with the throat. The team are working on crown stuff. Autumn throat. Yeah, throat need to speak my truth. We all do. Yes, we all need to speak our truth. It's true. Um, and we all need to be open to hearing each other's truth and letting each other be true, right? Because we're all right in our own worlds. But just because I'm right doesn't mean that I'm right for you, right? The time I woke up this morning in my bed, that wasn't the right place for you to wake up or you would have been there. <laughs> um, but I, I say all this to remind each other that like, just because you're right and you're true, it doesn't mean that it has to be right and true for someone else. That's something we got to let go of because we all have our own version of what's going on here, our own language for it, right? Um, hello, Siobhan from New Jersey, Solar and Heart. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Good. All right, let's get into it, friends. We've got 84 people in here. Um, if you haven't given me a follow, go ahead and give me a follow. If, uh, if you hear something that really resonates with you and you're not like in your zone, uh, you can hit the heart button. I like it when I see the hearts go off. I know that it's like working for you. Um, thank you to those of you who have donated, who are going to donate at some point. I appreciate that. And you guys are always welcome to join me in my circle if you search for Splendid Yoga in the circles part of this app. Uh, you'll find me to hang out. Yeah, thank you, Fatima, the Splendid Yoga Circle. Um, so are we in our comfortable seats? Was that enough time? Holly, it's a great circle. It is a great circle. <laughs> um, because of you guys, because of the people who are in there. So, uh, and I put protections around my stuff to keep the bots out. So, you know, we don't have to worry about that in there. So, uh, as you're in your comfortable seat, you can do this one laying down. You could do it standing. Traditionally, we would ask you to get into a comfortable seat. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Welcome magic. All right. Um, so take a moment, move your spine around, move your shoulders around, or draw around, move your nose around. Can you? Can't, can I? Kind of can. Uh, move your ears around. You could even 
if you can move them, you could. My grandma could. I did not inherit that trait. But go ahead and stretch them out. Stretch them out. And uh, close your eyes. And then tune in with your body and check in and ask, are you uncomfortable? What do we need to do? How can we get more comfortable? I'm going to lean back a little bit. My arms want to go off to the sides today. You might want your arms to be in your lap facing up. You might want to take some sort of mudra with your hands. Just let your hands kind of naturally fall where they're easily naturally going to fall. Turning off the decision-making part of your consciousness and tuning in to the intuitive part of your consciousness, the part that just knows what to do. Now take a deep breath in through your nose and feel the air at the top of your lip. And exhale through your nose and feel the air at the top of your lip. And just for a few moments, feel that air rushing over the upper lip. Turn your ears inward, turn your sight inward. Listen to your body, the sounds that your breath is making. Turn your attention to your root chakra located at the base of your spine, tailbone. Muladhara chakra is your connection to the earth. The color is red. Picture a glowing red orb expanding around your body, bringing a sense of rootedness, a sense of groundedness, a sense of purpose to your energy, to your entire being. Breathe that red in through your nose and let it infiltrate every vessel and every cell of your body. And breathe that red out into the world to infiltrate your entire auric circle and all the generations beyond you that you carry with you, sending that healing, grounded, Muladhara energy. We offer the affirmation. You can repeat out loud or just in your head. I am grounded in my purpose. I am grounded in my purpose. I am grounded in my purpose. your attention to your second chakra in your sacral area, Svadhisthana chakra, is your source of creativity, inspiration, relates to your sexual organs. Color is orange. Breathe that orange in and imagine it expanding from your low belly area beyond your skin to fill your entire auric space. Breathe in that inspiring, creative orange energy into every vessel and every cell. And breathe it out into your aura, into your energy.
We offer the affirmation. You can repeat after me out loud or in your head. I am inspiring. I am inspiring. I am inspiring. Bring your attention to your solar plexus chakra, Manipura chakra, bright yellow, like the golden hour sun relates to your kidneys, your body's ability to release and cleanse itself, as well as your fight or flight response, how we respond to the triggers of this world. It's out of balance if you find yourself feeling a lot of fear all the time. You're constantly exhausted, fatigued. You wake up tired, you go to sleep tired. You never quite wake up unless you've had just the right amount of caffeine before you get too shaky. It's our source of focus and willpower. So it makes sense that something that can be depleted, we only have so many decisions that we can make in a day, which is why it's so important to establish spiritual practices as habit so that we don't waste our willpower just trying to do the things that we know we have to do to take care of ourselves. They're just as part of our nature. We borrow from that discipline to fuel, fuel the rest of the day so that you can act on your inspired and creative impulses to serve your deepest purpose. All of the chakras feed each other from the root up, just like a tree. It draws nutrients from the earth to shine its light onto the world. Shine that golden light from your solar plexus out into your entire auric space. Breathe that golden healing light in through your nose and let it fill all of your vessels and every cell of your being. Exhale and shine that golden light out like the sun, an inexhaustible source of all energy on earth. offer the affirmation for Manipura Chakra. You can repeat after me out loud or in your head. I am focused and empowered. I am focused and empowered. I am focused and empowered. Bring your attention to your heart chakra. Anahata chakra, located on the left side of the sternum where the physical heart is. Color is green, like a new leaf. Anahata chakra is our source of compassion. And your goal in this world is to experience everything that happens for you in this world as a means to open your heart wider and wider to the entire spectrum of the human experience. There's nothing you can experience in this world that isn't here to allow you to love it. Everything that you experience in this world, you are allowed to love. Even the really horrific things. And it's your role as a spiritual warrior find things to love, even what humans perceive as tragedy. To see it as the natural transformative effects of the universe and to allow it without resistance. That's what allows us to leave our heart open. And that's what allows us to ease the experience, constantly be touching in on the tenderest parts of our heart as though we're touching a bubble so gently, not to pop it, just to play with it, just to keep it afloat. We 
Breathe that green in through your nose. Let it fill every cell and every vessel. Breathe that green out into your auric space. Your compassion shining bright for all to see. We offer for Anahata Chakra the affirmation. You can repeat out loud or in your head. I am an open-hearted, compassionate, spiritual warrior. I am an open-hearted, compassionate, spiritual warrior. I am an open-hearted, compassionate, spiritual warrior. attention to your throat chakra, the Shuddha chakra, our source of truth, clarity, how we express ourselves, how we express our compassion, how we express our focused inspiration, how we express our purpose. So much gets trapped there. You see a lot of thyroid issues, TMJ issues, glandular issues from the truth that people aren't expressing manifests as physiological dysfunctions. Sore throats may be expressing too much, maybe more listening. Or maybe there's a lot of fire in your speech, a lot of anger we need to work through. It's a communicator, the throat, so you allow it to communicate from an open-hearted place, not from a closed-hearted place. Color is blue. Imagine that beautiful, clear blue sky shining out from your throat, your entire auric space. Breathe that blue in to fill every vessel in your body, every cell that makes up this body. Breathe it out to fill your entire energy space. For me, when I start to breathe in the energy of the Shuddhi Chakra, it's like a, a minty, fresh, <laughs> mentholated <laughs> sensation in my throat. We offer for Vishuddhi Chakra the affirmation. You can repeat out loud or in your head. I communicate with clarity and joy. I communicate with clarity and joy. I communicate with clarity and joy. Bring your attention to your third eye chakra, Ajna chakra, located in between the eyebrows and the pineal glands in the middle of the brain. It's how we interpret our intuition. Color is indigo, darker blue. Imagine that beautiful blue shining out from the middle of your brain, 
fill your entire auric space. Breathe in that deep blue, let it fill all of your vessels, all of your cells. Breathe out that deep blue to fill your entire auric space. Flooding every essence of your being with its deepest, clearest intuition. That trust in itself, that trust in its ability to honor its truth honor its open-hearted compassion, to honor its focus, to honor its creative inspiration, and to honor its purpose. We offer for Ajna Chakra the affirmation. You can say it out loud or repeat in your head. I trust my intuition. I trust my intuition. I trust my intuition. Bring your attention to your crown chakra located above the crown of the head. Some say the color is violet. I say it's the color of the universe. You got the whole universe sitting right on top of your head. All of the wisdom of the ages, just right up there. You just gotta look up, it's right up there. <laughs> just imagine that universe sitting right on top of the crown of your head. Like a crown, like something that's an honor to wear, but something that also comes with a certain level of responsibility, an honorable responsibility, one that you signed up for. Allow it, allow yourself to be honored. Imagine everyone in your kingdom, your queendom, who supported you up to this point. All of your biggest fans, everyone who's helped you a little or a lot, even those who have hurt you, they helped you too. Every energy you've interacted with along the way, along this consciousness to make it to this moment, imagine them all cheering you on. They're still cheering you on. They want what's best for you. Allow yourself to feel that sense of being so supported by everyone who's ever helped you, who's still helping you. Feel that honor. What an honor it's been to help you. What an honor it's been to be supported. We offer with humility an affirmation for Sahasrara Chakra, the crown chakra. Repeat out loud or in your head. I honor my divine guidance. I honor my divine guidance. I honor my divine guidance. Now imagine that crown chakra shrinking down to something where it's manageable, the universe shrinking down just to fit perfectly on your head. Imagine Ajna chakra, 
that deep blue shrinking to nestle deep into your brain. Imagine Vishuddhi Chakra, that light blue to nestle into your throat. Anahata Chakra, the green to nestle into your heart. Manipura Chakra, the yellow to nestle into your solar plexus. Svaristana Chakra, the sacral to nestle into your uh, sacrum area. Muladhara Chakra, the root chakra, red to nestle into your root. And take a moment to feel the entire rainbow of your chakra system glowing beautifully, brightly, sending healing light with every pulse of your heart to every fiber of your being in every dimension of existence. your palms together and bring your thumbs to your heart. Bow down and humble your head to your heart. Mm. Namaste. If you're feeling a little flighty, like things are still open, reach your hands out, clasp your hands together on the crown of your head and just smush it all back in there. Get it all back in there. <laughs> this is a grounding exercise for anyone who has uh, issues um, like ascension syndromes, like dizziness, vertigo, nausea. If you just stand up too fast, you get dizzy easily. This helps to ground. And you wanna to continue to push the energy down into your low belly, because that's really where we find our deep balance. I'd love to know one word for how you're feeling right now, friends. Was that helpful for you? Sorry, I was late. It was important. Um, let's see, we got 129 people in here. Thank you for joining Holly at an amazing time. I'm so glad you were here, Holly. Thank you for texting and communicating that I was late. Rhonda, headache is gone. Well done. Well done. Good work. Carla's feeling beautiful. Thank you. Magic feels really good. Amazing. Lucy feels grateful. I'm grateful for you too, Lucy. Pie is glowing. Yes, yes, I do encourage you to take before and after photos. <laughs> I should have reminded you. Helen feels open. Beautiful. Glad to hear that. All right, my dears. It's an honor and a pleasure. Thank you for your donation, Magic. Give me a follow if you like my vibe. Go check out all the other events that I do. I'll be on here live again tomorrow at 7 a.m. We're doing the Taoist Shen meditation again, one of my favorite meditations from the Taoist tradition that I studied through my master's program. I'm studying here in LA. And uh, then I'll be live again sometime later that day. I think I'm doing the metta meditation that I thought I was doing today that I wasn't doing today. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, we, we made it happen. And we, we got it straight. We got it coordinated. Um, and then we'll be here Friday as well. 7 a.m. We'll do some Qigong together. 11, 11 a.m. We'll do my Rumi card readings. But please join me in my circle if you like my vibe. Go check out the link in my profile um, so you can see some of the other work that I'm doing in this world. And uh, what time zone are you? I'm in LA. I'm in Pacific. PST, Pacific Standard Time here in California. Yes, good questions. We're a global community here. I appreciate you taking the time out of your life to spend some time with me doing work that makes you feel better so that we can make the world feel better. Because if one of us is suffering, all of us are suffering. But if one of us is healing, all of us are healing. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you around. Bye.